I could fight those bugs to get a little bit of win, but I feel like they are they are somewhat beneath me. But you know what's not beneath me? Oh! Okay, well, you hit Sharon. I didn't fully consider this possibility. <laughs> Bet you can one shot it. Yep. Critical hit helps a lot. Piece of cake. Two XP. Actually enough for Joshua to level up. Uh I mean it's not worthless, but not really worth my time either, is it? Right. If you're coming this way anyway, I may as well say hello to these guys. Cher has started to help around the farm, so I'm really bored. Maybe I should try helping out on my own, too. Hey guys, what's with the packs? Well, it turns out we're headed to Bose. Mm hmm, that's why we're out here. So, does this mean you're heading there on foot? It'll, we'll be fine. I've heard that it's not that long a distance. When it comes to jobs, I guess a bracelet one isn't that. This isn't supposed to be that easy. Anyway, take care of yourselves. <laughs> Best part, coming here, right there. Are you going somewhere, Joshua? Yep, it seems I'm heading for the Bose region next door. Will you be back soon? Uh, I probably won't be anytime soon. Uh, Joshua, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> yep, I promise. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, are you here in business for the guild? The work of a bracer can't be easy, that's for sure. Don't overdo things, moderation is key. After the airliners were built, we started receiving orders from various regions. But we're having trouble just keeping on top of them. I'm overjoyed as far as business goes, but I need to figure out a way to deal with things. <laughs> Ugh, eggplants are the worst. Okay, well, this was a pleasant detour. Let's get back onto the road. Okay, let's see. Oh! You! Uh, did you just steal EP? Well, it just ran away, that's for sure. Wait. I don't know how confident I am that I will be able to go first. Well, rather than I'll be able to kill it. Let's try. Yeah! That did no damage. Hmm. 
How are you supposed to kill these We're things? Good to go. They're immune to magic, and they can't be hit either. Ooh, I really want to get one of these. Ha! Yeah, they're just straight up immune to it. Oh, you're not close enough! Hit one of them. Now, as long as at least one stays, and does not run away, A lot of septus for that. I barely touched it. Okay. Let's, uh, save. Oh, it's not there anymore. Well, that's disappointing. Really? We'll try this one more time. And if it's not there, it's not there. It is indeed not here. Well, okay then. At least we got something for our trouble. Well, if it isn't Estelle, and Joshua too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. And this is Sherazard, if I remember correctly, right? Good afternoon, sir. We'd like to cross over the, to the Bose region, so we're wondering about getting a pass. Let me guess, it has something to do with the Linda, does it not? Yeah. Goodness, Cassius was aboard? This is major! I'll issue you a pass right away. Thank you, sir. But is it all right for you to issue us a pass just like that? What are you talking about? I know you kids by face. As a member of the Royal Army, I should do my best to cooperate with the Racer Guild. Oh, but one other thing. Be careful if you have any errands at the Hawken Gate north of here. You might want to hide your identities as bracers there. I'm sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with discretion. I pray to Idios for Cassius' safe return. Say. We are, but how did you know we weren't just visiting the game? Well, a number of people like yourselves have been passing through lately. Exponentially more than usual. Uh, that seems likely. That's exactly what's happened! You wouldn't believe how busy this place is because of it. Well, the Royal Army is responsible for all the restricted flights. So you're really not in a position to complain. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, and another thing. Traffic through this checkpoint is also being regulated. If you want to go through here, you'll have to get a pass from the chief warrant officer next door. Indeed. Okay then, how about I open the gate for you? Alright, you're clear to go on through. Once you cross over, you won't be able to come back unless you get a pass from the other side. Please be aware of that before you cross. Well, I'm pretty sure I finished everything up over... Wait, can I just... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I finished everything up on this side of the bridge. Since joining the army, this is the first time I've ever been so busy in my life. I guess this is no time to be reading fishing or books. To be fishing or reading books. I just bought this book, but I guess I'll have to give it to you. Chief would be livid if you caught me with this. Oh, worth uh, chapter two. What about chapter one? Hello there, Toby. You've come at just the right time. Greeting me with these words, Mick shuffled lightly in his seat behind the counter. The baked confection he'd been eating was ever so carefully placed atop his lap to prevent it from falling onto the floor. He smacked both his powdered sugar-covered hands together with a clap, and a cloud of white particles puffed into the air. The smell of sweet spices and baked apple pervaded the dimly lit shop. We had an item dropped off no more than a few minutes ago, he continued. Turning in his seat, Mitch reached back and snatched up something wrapped in old magazine paper from off the shelf. Tossing it to me, knowing full well that I wouldn't get any sort of answer, I asked anyway, what do we have this time? Laying out my railway and airship tickets. Mitch ignored my question. Make sure that you get this to the same place as always. In his slow drawl, he added, It'd be in your best interest to keep your involvement to a minimum by leaving the business side of things to me and focusing solely on getting your job done, Toby. He leaned back in his chair and let out a deep sigh, the balls of his fingers kneading the bags under his eyes. Then, once again, his large hand extended down towards the unattended cake resting on his leg. Before the sweet treat could reach his watering mouth, I had already made my way out the door of his tiny shop. Whoops. As I walked, the waste paper bundled package bounced inside, around inside the folds of my bag. By the feel of its shape and weight, as it beat steadily against my side, I concluded that the object in my possession was ju probably just more swag. It didn't make me nervous not to know what it was I was carrying, for I had done this type of job many times before, and no matter what kind of trouble I found myself wrapped up in, I had always managed to somehow come out unscathed. In truth, my experience on the job had made me tough, and I had become well-versed in the arts of orbital magic. So it was that, when I laid my eyes on that rough-looking trio at the station, I felt no more knots of uneasiness in the pit of my stomach than was necessary for some of my abilities. The platform for the train bound for a liberal was a bustle with passengers awaiting its eventual arrival. Seeing that the benches were so crammed full of people that they could have very well been a tin of packed sardines, I resigned myself to stand near the entrance as I patiently waited for the train to come in. Twisting my body in order to move the bag to my other shoulder, I noticed the figures of two men 
heads bent together and conversing in an inaudible tone, they stood just beyond the ticket gate, right about where the horse led horse head of the imperial emblem lay embedded in the ground in a grand mosaic of tiles. After a short interim, another man approached and joined in the conversation. From my own perspective, this was one ragtag group I had most certainly couldn't have given a passing grade uh, to based on what? All three were extremely well built and sported the same haircut. To put it mildly, they stuck out in the crowd like a bunch of sore thumbs. Making sure to avoid eye contact with them as they glanced from my direction, I slung my bag back onto my shoulder and ever so calmly reached my hand into my pocket and ran the tips of my fingers across the surface of my orbit. A woman's voice reverberated within the walls of the station, notifying the passengers that the train had arrived. The low rumble of an engine could be felt in the distance, and after a few moments, a large vehicle was seen rolling up to the shoulder. I muttered on to myself, all is well, but the sound of my voice was drowned out by the din of the massive machine. Brakes screeched, and a flash of black light reflected off the surface of the Grand Iron Beast as it came sliding in across the rails. The immense vibration in the air emanating from the moving locomotive at its epicenter let me know that the orbital engine had been put into full reverse in order to decelerate and bring the train to a grinding halt. While being shoved to and fro by the waves of impatient travelers flooding out of the waiting area, I was swept towards one door of a passenger car. As we passed by the conductor, I caught another glimpse of the ticket gate. The men who were once there were now gone, and the only thing that remained was the profile of the horse made of glossy tiles, leering back at me in a shade of deep crimson. <laughs> well, that was fun. Okay, so before I go through the gate, we're going to try this one more time. Nope, you're not what I want. Oh, you are. I didn't even freaking see you. Right, so we're going to just, like... We're gonna do this. <laughs> Someone's been naughty. Oh, that's almost enough to kill it. But now it's gonna run away. Oh, well, it didn't run away. I can't actually reach it, though, either. Hmm. itself and ran away. Damn it! I didn't think you'd be able to do both at the same time. Otherwise, I would have used another special on it. Well, I got nothing. <sighs> I really want to kill one of those things. So... Why don't we just try the... Nope, it's gone again. Now that I have hurt one, I presumably need to wait a little while before it will respawn. Uh, hmm. How far am I? Oh. Right, anyway. 
Uh, let's not fight you again. Let's just, like, actually... Let's actually do this. Uh, it did not respawn. Shame that. I guess I won't be able to kill it. I really want to know what I get for killing it. Presumably a lot of septa, but maybe something else as well? I don't know, whatever. Let's, let's go. Actually, wait. Let's save and then go.